Hey guys, welcome to the Kellogg's Loops YouTube channel. So, the point of this video is to address a question that's been asked by quite a few people. Is Kellogg's Loops a boy or a girl? Well, let's whip. Just hang on a second. There we go. That's heaps better. Hi, my name's Hugh. Her? Her name's Ivy. She's my friend and a girl. I'm Kellogg's Loops and a boy. So that makes Kellogg's Loops a boy. I thought it'd be a bit nice to finally put a face to the name. For all those who have mistaken me as a girl, I'm so sorry for confusing you all out there. I honestly did and want to try to clarify this up a lot earlier, but it just was so often that people were referring to me as a she or a her that I kind of just went with the flow. So for those who don't know me personally, I guess this is kind of my way of actually saying hi again. So, uh, hi. So without further ado, welcome to my channel. My name's Hugh, spelled H-I-E-U. I'm from Melbourne. A bit about myself, uh, my favorite color is orange and I love turtles. But there's one thing that I really wanted to talk about in this video and it's about where I am and what I was doing. So, up until about two months ago, I was a university student studying physiotherapy and I honestly loved the course, I loved studying it. I guess I kind of realised that what I was doing made me unhappy, but most of all with what I was sacrificing. And that for me was art. I had this whole entire plan in mind that I was going to undertake and that was I'd go on and work my ass off to study physiotherapy, finish it, you know, work as a physio, stable career, make ends meet, you know, the whole entire plan that society's got out for us. But as far as my art plans went, it just meant that art was a hobby for me. I would draw on the side, here and there, and just pray that maybe one day I might actually be able to make a career out of it. So after months of tossing and turning, I finally made a decision to take a leap of faith and actually defer from my course of studies and pursue and actually transfer to a different degree, and that was animation. So I decided that, hell yeah, I was going to go for it. I was going to do this thing. That was against the advice of a lot of people. The general advice you hear from people in that kind of situation is that you don't do it, it's a hobby, don't do it, it's a waste of time, you don't do it, you're not going to get anywhere, you don't do it. And I guess for me, it served as a motivation to actually go for it because I wanted to prove to others that I can actually do this. Because one thing that's for sure, that I know at least, is that ever since I did decide to do this, I couldn't have been more happy, honestly. I get to wake up every day and know that I'm actively working towards working towards something. And that's art for me. And that means that I get to draw every day, I get to learn new things every day, I get to evolve and actually work towards becoming something. And that's that's everything to me. At the same time, I get to do things that I've always wanted to do. For example, starting this YouTube channel. I've always wanted to do this. And originally, the only intention for it was to serve as a creative space where I could share my little tips, my tutorials, my tricks, my speed paints, my time lapses, little talks like these. But I eventually found a different reason for it. And that was to share my story and my experience. Because I feel like a lot of people can relate to my situation. You know, a lot of people out there are being told to put their dreams on hold because it's pointless, there's no time. But I guess in a way, this channel is to serve as a documentation of my journey and my learning experience because I'm new to this as well. So yeah, that's basically what you can expect from this channel. Um, one on that note though, I just wanted to say, we hit a thousand subscribers! Yes! That's a massive deal for me because knowing that a thousand people out there actively or are watching my videos, or even are subscribed to me. It honestly means the world. So thank you each and every one of you so much. I'd really love to be able to grow this channel, so if you want to come and watch my journey, feel free to subscribe. In 10 years time, I might be a successful artist in the creative industry, or I might have completely failed. I'm also on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, and Facebook, so if you want to check me out there, the links are down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon.